my boys, I am in love with them. They make me happy, proud. My boys are my everything. When I was a kid, I would live with my mom in the streets. And um, it's hard. I don't want to repeat the same thing, you know, sleeping in the streets or in the basement under a building. I was in the Army from 1979 to 1982, stationed in Erlangen, Germany. I was married for two and a half years. It didn't work out between us. I got back to the States, went down the wrong path and abused alcohol to the point where I had to go into a program finally accepting that I had a problem because I was in denial for a long time. I have nobody to blame but myself for losing contact with my daughter. Because I missed out on her whole life. How can I forgive myself for that? No way. No way. He was almost two. And I said to my husband, I said, Michael cannot do what the other kids do. We went to the neurologist and he, um, he diagnosed Michael with a form of autism. And we started looking for schools and programs. I kept thinking through my entire pregnancy, what did I do wrong, what did I do differently? What, because as any parent, I guess, you just tend to blame yourself. I, I had a newborn, I had two toddlers, I knew that I couldn't let it go, and yet I couldn't function. My neurologist said to me, I think you should look into Volunteers of America. And I immediately knew that it was the place where Michael belonged. It's warm, it's inviting. The support that they offer the parents is tremendous. It's an oasis for families with children like Michael. On December 23rd this year, I'll be here at Commonwealth two years. It's a blessing from God. It gives you a, a feeling of independence. You just sense of pride. I got to Volunteers of America and it just took me away from the path that I was with my mom when I was younger. They helped me out with finding jobs. I actually started working at Duane Reed July 27th. I didn't even care if it was to clean the bathroom or be janitor. I just wanted a job to take care of my boys. And when I'm at work, I feel like they're with a family member. Once I leave the shelter, I know that my future is just gonna be good because of Volunteers of America. My caseworker, Mrs. Robinson, she used to die for. She is such a sweetheart. She goes above and beyond to help me out with any problem I have. I want my kids to always know that they're loved. And that's, that's how I felt at VOA. Michael was nonverbal, and I really didn't hold out a lot of hope. And it got better. It was amazing. It was a slow process. But in retrospect, it was two years, and he was ready to go off to kindergarten. VOA taught me to let Michael live as normal a life as possible. The Staten Island Early Learning Center, that really gave me stepping stones to achieve like anything in my life. I'm a figure skater. I'm a figure skating coach. I work at We Rock the Spectrum Staten Island Kids Gym. I'm a strong activist for the autism community. And I really owe it all to VOA. When I first started talking with my daughter, she sent me a picture and she's standing sideways and I see the belly. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a grandfather. You don't think about it when you're a kid, but as you get older, you come to realize this is what life's all about. When I got off the plane last year, seeing my daughter for the first time after 30 some years, it's un unbelievable. Damarian, he's just so in love with the staff, Ms. Day, Mr. Robinson, like he loved and adore all of them. We were offered a transfer from Manhattan to Brooklyn because we used to live in that area. But I denied the transfer because I felt like this was my family.
the Staten Island Early Learning Center is ingrained in him and it will be for life. It's a place you want to stay involved with. When I leave from here to my permanent home, I know that it will be somewhere great. When you have good guidance or support, you get to it. Volunteers of America has helped me tremendously. People have to be grateful. It would be un-American, unhuman not to be grateful.